Wilson was a, a prolific writer. He probably has 20 or more books to his name. And all of them are, are beautifully bound. Here we have an example of a, a limited edition book, America's Greatest Garden, which was available only on subscription, a signed edition. Only 1,200 copies of this were available, uh, all signed in ink by Wilson himself. China, Mother of Gardens, probably one of the most beautiful of Wilson's books. Beautifully bound on very expensive paper. Right at the very front of the book, this engraving here actually shows an example of Wilson's calling card in Chinese, which he used on his, his travels around China. China Mother of Gardens is simply a reissue of his first work, um, A Naturalist in Western China. Amongst his rarest of books are the ones he wrote about his travels in Japan. This one, Cherries in Japan, extremely rare and very, very difficult to get hold of now, which uh, illustrates his travels in Japan, looking at the various varieties of uh, Japanese cherries. It took me a long time to get hold of that one. The other rarity from Japan, conifers and taxa to Japan, again, very, very scarce. Largely of scientific interest, rather than a book for the general public. But, um, an example of just how thorough Wilson was in his writing. Most of these books are written from his field notes. Uh, of course, they, they, they carefully give exact locations of where he actually found various plants. Books like this he would have uh, received nothing for at all. Um, this was actually published uh, by the Arboretum. It's one of the Arnold Arboretum publications, so this would have been funded entirely um, by the Arboretum and would have been part of his, his, his daily work. So he wouldn't have been paid for that. Books such as this were usually purchased on a subscription arrangement. Very expensive. Uh, I think he did have quite a, a large following in Boston at the time. And uh, quite a, a few wealthy people would have actually subscribed and bought these volumes. None of them would have been produced in, in vast quantities. So it's unlikely that they would ever have... Uh, uh, produced a, a, a large income from him, but uh, I think he enjoyed his writing and uh, I think he, he must have got a, a real thrill when he saw his books actually finally appear in print.